My name is Alex Huang. I'm an associate professor in pediatrics at uh, Case Western Reserve University, and I conduct a research in immunotherapy in childhood cancer. And one of the newest and the most exciting field is to generate uh, methods to use our own immune system to fight cancer. Now, the promise of immunotherapy, or using your immune system to fight cancer, is that our immune system is extremely talented and is very smart in finding out bad cells versus good cells. When you have cancer develop in your body, your immune system against a cancer cell is not absent, it's actually asleep. If there are ways to develop or activate to wake up the immune system, the immune system actually is powerful enough to eliminate the cancer without the use of, of chemotherapy, toxic drugs, and other things. And so what we have been trying to do is trying to understand how tumor cells and immune cells talk to each other in a living organism. And one of the methods that we are using and developing over the past 10 years now is trying to visualize within a tumor microenvironment, how does the tumor cell manage to evade immune detection? What are the surface molecules or signals that they are sending to the immune system to fool the immune system into thinking that they are friends rather than foe? The technology we are developing is called two-photon microscopy or intravital microscopy. Each one of these green, blue, and red dots represents an individual immune cell. And what you're seeing is that immune cells are very busy moving about in different places. And in the setting of cancer, some of these movements are altered. And so we're trying to understand the signals that are being sent by tumor cells to alter the traffic pattern of these immune cells and bring it back to order so that we can actually bring the right cells into the right spot where they can recognize the tumor and kill the tumor cells. One of the molecules that we are now targeting and studying is called VCAM1, which is a adhesion molecule that normally expressed on the surface of cells that allows different cells to attach to one another. There are two goals that we have uh, at the current time for the VCAM. One is to be able to generate new medicine they can target specifically on this VCAM molecule and causing no toxicity um, if, if possible. And two is to develop an assay that's blood-based that allows us to detect micrometastasis or metastasis in the lung and other places before the radiologist can pick them up on CT scans and MRI. So it allows the physicians to intervene earlier rather than later. Pediatric cancer constitutes about or less than 10% of the entire National Cancer Institute's funding budget. Now, you can argue that pediatric patients are only 10% of our population, but they are 100% of our future. The mission and the passion to help those who need the help the most and to keep pushing until we, we can say to every parent who bring their child into the office, when, who, when they're diagnosed with cancer, to say, your child has cancer, but we have a cure.